Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A, and I love math. And we are here tonight with Lesson 47, and we're going to be talking about volume, and while we talk about volume, we're going to get to play with blocks because they're fun. And um, we're going to re refresh a little bit. Area is different from volume. But area we've already talked about. An area is the size of a surface. And a surface, remember, is one side of a figure, okay? And it could be the number of floor tiles that you would need on the floor to make the floor pretty, or how much rug in square yards, it's supposed to be in square yards instead of is square yards, Okay, so we measure um, area in square units. Okay, and volume, on the other hand, I'm trying to get that glare off my board here. I need to move a little bit. Okay, volume, on the other hand, is 3D. And 3D is three-dimensional figures. So volume is figures that are not flat. Figures that have length and width and height or depth. So when we're talking about volume, we're talking about something that is not flat, like my set of blocks here, okay? So we're gonna be talking about those here shortly. So area is for something that is flat, and it is the measure of the surface, okay, of an item, and then, on this next little board here, we have volume is how many cubes of a certain size would it hold? Okay, and we're going to talk about that when we get our blocks. So volume is how much something will hold. And when we're talking about volume, we talk about cubic measure. We could have each side of a figure be in feet, and then when we talked about the volume, it would be in cubic feet, and we'll show you some of those, or maybe in cubic centimeters. And my blocks are almost exactly one inch each, okay? So my little block here, let me pull one of my little blocks off, if I can. Maybe I can't, okay? And it ran away. Oh, they're stuck together. Really stuck together. Okay, here we have. So my block is an inch by an inch by an inch. Okay, so my little block is almost exactly an inch cubed. Okay, so when we're talking about a cube, we're talking about a figure that has got a side and another side, and then a top, and a bottom. It's like a box, okay? So my little box here is about an inch on each side. So we're going to call that figure right there a cubic inch, because it's an inch by an inch by an inch. An inch this way, and an inch this way, and an inch deep, okay? So we have um, volume is going to be length times width times height, or maybe if you were going to have the volume of a swimming pool, we would think of it more as depth instead of height. But there are three dimensions. That's why we call it a 3D figure or three-dimensional. Okay, let's zoom in on our book for a minute. It says, if we have a rectangular area that measures four feet by two feet, it has an area of eight square feet. So here they're showing you this figure. It is four feet this way, and it is two feet this way. And so four times two is eight square feet. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now they're using sugar cubes here, which is a good way to think of volume 
because sugar cubes are easy to see if you ever get a box of sugar cubes. I don't know how many people buy boxes of sugar cubes anymore. But one sugar cube with a volume of one cubic foot. Now that would be a big sugar cube. We usually have sh sugar cubes that are really tiny, like about that big. Okay. But can be set on each of the squares shown. If we place one cube on each square, we will use eight cubes. If we stack the cubes too deep, we will use 16 cubes. So here they have a picture of one cube set on each one of these blocks. And then they have another picture. Well, what if we stack them too high? And of course, each sugar cube is a whole foot. Well, now that's a lot of sugar. Remember what a foot is. This is a foot. Okay, my ruler is a foot long. Okay, on this page, they said, all right, if we took that same eight cubes that we had on the last page, and we had three layers, each with eight cubes, well, then I'd have 24 cubes. And if I had four layers, each with eight cubes, I'd have 32 cubes. And we call a geometric figure that occupies space a geometric solid. If the sides of the solid go straight up from the base, the sides make a right angle where they contact the base. We call these geometric solids right geometric solids or just right solids. Okay, so they talked about the sugar cubes so that you would get an idea of what volume is. We see that the volume of a right solid equals the area of the base times the height. Now, this is where they're getting that. We had the base was eight cubes, but if we had three layers, we'd have three times eight or 24. If we had four layers, four times eight is 32. So the volume of a right solid is the area of the base times the height. So that is a formula that we want to remember. Air, volume of a right solid is area of the base times the height. Now before we do some examples, I want to take my figure because I took the time to build this very cool figure for you. And the figure, if you look at it, has one, two, three, four, five blocks on one side. And then on the other end, it has one, two, three, four blocks. And then it is three blocks high. So one side had five. One side had four, and it was three high. So let's think about what is the area of one of the base. Area of the base is going to be the five times the four, because we've already talked about area. Area is just length times the width. So five times four is 20, and if I did my math right, I should have 20 squares because this is the area of the base of this figure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is how many blocks, each one inch um, wide, okay, one inch square, aren't they? One inch square that makes up the base of this figure. But since I have 20 blocks in the base, how many blocks do you think I have in the whole figure? Since I have three stories, it's three stories high. And each story has 20 blocks, doesn't it? Okay, so three times 20 would be 60. So let's see if we can come up with the volume without counting. So the volume, remember, is how much a figure holds. And if we're talking about each block being an inch by an inch by an inch, then we say that block is a square inch. Okay, so this is a square inch, one square inch, and we have 
60 blocks in this figure because we have 20 in the base and then times 3, 20 times 3 is 60. So I can know that there are 60 blocks without having to count them all because I know the formula for volume. The formula for volume is the area of the base, which we already said was 20, times the height, which is 3. So 20 times 3 is 60. So our formula for something like this, since the area of the base is length times width, then the whole volume would be length times width times height. Okay, so this is example 47, and they have a rectangular solid. And the rectangular solid is a very easy to have our first figure rectangular because we just saw an example of a rectangular solid. It says the rectangular shown is the base of a right solid. So here's the base, and this is what the solid looks like. And it says whose sides are four centimeters high. All of the dimensions are in centimeters. Find the volume of the solid. So since it is just a simple rectangle, won't the volume be length times width, which will give you the area of the base, and then times the height to get the last dimension. So 2 times 6 is 12, and 12 times 4 is going to give us 48, and that's in centimeters, so 48 cubic centimeters. Because don't we have 2 centimeters times 6 centimeters times 4 centimeters? And the units of my volume will be centimeters times centimeters times centimeters or centimeters cubed. It tells us, tells us that 48 1 centimeter sugar cubes will completely fill the space occupied by this right rectangular solid. So now I have the big box that holds the blocks. And we're going to find the volume of the big box because it is almost perfectly right. So we're going to measure each side and the height. So I'm going to go with the length here. And I'm going to say that's 12 inches right to there. And we're going to have to go a little bit further. Okay, so we're going to say this is 14 inches. Okay, so 14 inches for this side. Now, I'm going to turn to this side and I'm going to measure. And I'm going to say that's 6 inches. 14 by 6. Now, let's see how high it is. Okay, so... It is seven inches high. Okay, so what did we have? We had 14 inches by six inches by seven inches high. Now, if each block is one inch by one inch, like this, how many blocks? would this hold? Okay, so we're gonna have to get our board and we're going to have to multiply it out. Okay, so we had 14 for the length, 14, and then we had a six for a side and we had a seven for a side and the length times the width times the height have to be all multiplied together to give me the volume. Or I can say area of the base, and the area of the base would have been these two multiplied together, and then times the height. So basically, for a rectangle, aren't we just multiplying all three together? So let's go ahead and do this easily by multiplying the 6 and the 7 together first and getting 40 2 times the 14, okay, so 2 times 4 is 8, 
4 times 4 is 16, and then we have the 42. When I add all that up together, I'm going to get 8, 8, 5. 588 square inch, I mean cubic inches, because it's three dimensions. 588 cubic inches. And so, if each block... You'd have to put them in very, very carefully. You would have to stack these blocks just like this, wouldn't you? You'd have to t stack them so there was no space in between them because our box will hold 588 of each one of those little blocks. That's pretty cool, isn't it, to be able to figure it out. So now we're going to work on some others that don't have rectangular basis and we're going to find that we can still use the formula area of the base times the height will give us the volume. Okay so here is the last example before we do some practices. The two dimensions draw the two-dimensional drawing shows the base of a right solid that is six feet high. And here's the figure when we have gotten it all figured out, all uh, drawn out. Find the volume of the solid. The dimensions are in feet. So now, since it's not a rectangle, wouldn't we need to find the area of that and then multiply it by six feet high? And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, when we're trying to find the area of the base, we're going to break this base up into a rectangle and a triangle. So basically, they're drawing a little line all the way through so that they have an area A and an area B. Since the area A is 6 times 4 rectangle, we're going to have that as the 24. And then they have a triangle. Well, we know the area of a triangle is, what, 1 half base times height. So the base of this triangle is 6. How did we know that? Once we drew this down, then couldn't we split this 10 into 4 and what's left? 4 plus 6 is 10. So we knew that this dimension down here had to be 6. So 6 and then the height is 6. So 1 half base times height is 1 half of 36, which is 18. So 24 plus 18 is 42. Now that gives us the area of the base. So now 42 feet squared. And now we go up here to the rest of it. The whole figure was 6 feet high. So 42 feet squared times 6 feet is 252 feet cubed. It will take 252 one-foot sugar cubes to completely fill the space occupied by this right solid. Now it's time for some practices. Okay, now let's look at the first practice. It says find the number of one centimeter cubes that can be placed in a rectangular box measuring four centimeters by six centimeters by 10 centimeters. Remember when we have a rectangular box all we have to do is multiply length times width times height. Now, one of my sides is 10. Wouldn't this be easy if I multiplied the 4 and the 6 together and got 24 and then multiplied the 24 by 10 and got 240? 240 cubic centimeters. Uh-oh, I did the problem for you. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to let you do the next one. Okay, so on B, it says on the left, we show the base of a right solid with a height of 12 meters. Dimensions are in meters. Find the volume of the solid. Now, the, the base is an L shape, isn't it? But you can see when they laid the L down, it's kind of like a wall. Maybe it's a wall. And the wall has height. And it has the same shape all the way around, doesn't it? So it is a solid, 
And now we're going to have to do this using our formula area of the base times the height. Okay, everybody get that problem down on your paper and pause your video. Okay, the first thing we're going to have to do with this one is find the area of this base. So I'm going to go ahead and make this into two parts. And this first one had an 8 times a 2, so its area is 16. And this other one was 8 this way, and it was 2 more this way, so this side is 10. So we have 10 times 2, or 20. And if you divided it differently, that's fine. You should still come up with 16 plus 20, or 36 square. Let's see what units they said. They said the dimensions were in meters. Okay, so we have 36 square meters, and then they said that the figure was 12 meters high. Okay, so we're going to take the area of the base times the height, and we're going to get now cubic meters. Okay, because volume is always in cubic measures. So what is 36 times 12? 6 times 2 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, and 36. So when I add it all up together, I get 2 and 13 and 4. 432 cubic meters. 432 meters cubed. And that would be our volume. And this one is your last practice. On the left, we show the base of a right solid whose height is 2 meters. Dimensions are in meters. Find the volume of the solid. Notice that we have two marks for right angles, but not over here. This is not right over here. This is not a square or a rectangle. So we're going to have to do it somewhat like our um, practice our example 47.2 we're going to have to shave a little bit of a triangle off of there aren't we so here we go to our drawing board over here okay so now as we're doing this we see six on the top but eight on the bottom since this part right here we just split into a rectangle then this is six and this over here will have to be the remainder 8 take away 6 is 2, so we're going to split the 8 up into a 6 and a 2. And now this triangle has a base of 2 and a height of 5, okay, because these are right angles over here. So our area here is 1 half base times height. Well, 1 half times 2 is just 1, and 1 times 5 is 5, so that has an area of 5 in there, and then this has an area of 5 times 6, or 30, and those are in meters. Those dimensions are in meters, so 30 plus 5 is 35 square meters, okay? And then this whole figure is 2 meters high. You see the figure here? It's 2 meters high. So we're going to take our 35 square meters and we're going to multiply by the 2 meters high. And square meters times another meter is meters cubed or cubic meters. And 35 times 2 is 70. So we should have 70 cubic meters as our volume. Well, I hope you had fun playing with blocks and learning a little bit about volume. I did.
This is Mrs. A, and may God bless your day.